Welcome back, folks. I've got something that I'm real excited to show you today, and it's not an ammo can. It is a 300 watt inverter, but not just any inverter. 300 watt pure sine wave inverter. We're gonna put this one on the bench today, test it out, see what a pure sine wave inverter looks like on the scope. And of course we're gonna load test it too. So let me get it all hooked up, set up the camera, and we'll get started. So this is gonna be the first of a series of videos on power inverters. I don't know that the series will ever conclude as new inverters come out and I see something I like, I'm gonna pick them up. I'm gonna throw them on the workbench and see what they look like, see what they do. This one I got on Amazon, it, I don't remember exactly the price on it. It was less than $50. Uh, it's got uh, two USB ports on it for charging. It's got two 110 volt receptacles, an on off power switch and plugs into the power port of your vehicle or in my case a battery box that I built out of an ammo can so we'll just which also has USB ports on it so I'm just going to plug this in turn this on get over here where you can see it And I guess it's time to plug it in and start turning on some small electrical loads. All right. All right, that's what a sine wave looks like. That's what they should all look like, matter of fact. There we go. Man, that's pretty, I like that. All right, well, let's see if we can get 300 watts to come out of it right off the bat. That's supposed to be a 300 watt light bulb. And I hear the cooling fan coming on already. And I'm wondering if my battery's about to give out. All right, so we're at 250 watts. 107 volts. What is going on here? We ought to be getting 300 watts out of that. Let's go look at this. Let's put a bigger battery under it. All right, so we've got a bigger battery on it again. Let's see if we can get how much we can get out of this. One. 260 watts. 306 watts. That's more like it. 110 volts, 109 volts. 304 watts. Now that sine wave is beginning to kind of change shape on it a little bit. I bet it gets, I bet it goes to looking better if we take just a little bit of load off of it. Eh, it's a little better. Ooh, let's try this out. 
Alright, so this is a Craftsman one third horsepower jigsaw. 2.5 amps, so it should run it. And I'm watching the scope, the screen on the scope, those sine waves are jumping around a little bit, which is not ideal. But hey, it's 300 watts, it's pure sine wave. It will run sensitive electronics. I like it. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe because there'll be a lot more of these videos on the way with different kind of inverters. Uh, appreciate you watching. Catch you on the next one.